this is my 1999 Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, CNG conversion on my car. Alright, this, I'm not fully done yet, but uh, this is my fill nozzle for CNG. Eventually, I'll probably have it say CNG fuel only just for fun. But uh, there's my Bondo job. I actually cut that hole myself and uh, installed that cap. All right, here's my seven gasoline gallon type two CNG tank that I got from uh, freedomcng.com. Um, this is my uh, six millimeter compression fitting uh, tubing. Uh, that's actually, you can see the fill nozzle, there's the valve for the fill nozzle. And uh, actually, the tubing will go out right through there, run underneath my car up to the regulator. Um, this is still have my standard uh, uh, gasoline fuel tank. There's my four cylinder engine with there's my regulator. You can see the the white tubing down there is where it's running up from uh, the fill nozzle on the back. All right, uh, the fuel regulator will drop down the pressure to a usable pressure for my motor to run on. Uh, right now, it's pressurized up to almost 3,000 psi. Uh, it can. My tank is only a 3,000 psi tank, but you can buy 3,600. 3,600 uh, PSI tanks for cars. Uh, this is, right here, is a stepper motor that will actually uh, pump the CNG into my air intake, which uh, this has a mixing valve on it, which will mix the air and the gas together uh, and go right into my engine. Now, I had to uh, tie into my radiator uh, cooling system through these hoses, the two hoses right here, to keep my regulator from freezing up from the pressure drop. And uh, I had to uh, wire into my coil, my O2 sensor, uh, my battery, uh, I think the map sensor, and uh, ignition switch. And uh, Pretty much that's all the wiring. We'll go ahead and start her up. All right, I mounted my switch right here. So right now it's blinking. It's it's ready to be on CNG once the RPMs go up. So I'm gonna hit the gas. Is now running on CNG and there really is hardly any difference um, a little bit of power loss but I, I think I might be able to get some of that back with some tuning but that is that is running right on CNG now I'm gonna switch it all I have to do if I run out it'll switch on me back to gasoline but this is me switching manually. It, I realize it almost dies. Um, I'm not sure if I can fix that, but I'll I'll see. But it don't really matter once you're driving. It, it, it doesn't. You don't even notice. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch switch back. It's still on gas. Uh, all right, it's right on. It's on CNG again. So just. You know, flip of a switch, all it takes. Um, uh, you can see that it will display how full my tank is, and my tank is, I just filled it up, so it's reading all the way full. And I only paid $1.27 for a gasoline gallon equivalent, which is the exact same mileage I would be getting from regular gasoline. And uh, gasoline right now is uh, 333 and CNG is a dollar 27 so it's more than two dollars in savings per gallon so I'm gonna be saving I spend more than two hundred dollars a month 
on gasoline normally at about $40 a week. So I'll be saving about uh, over a hundred and what, hundred and fifty dollars so a month, so a little less than that. So hundred fifty dollars a month, you know, times twelve months is uh, definitely you make your savings back. It really depends on how far you drive and stuff like that. But this this conversion cost me about eighteen hundred dollars altogether with the. Uh, the parts and uh, not including the labor it took me a while because I kind of took my time uh, but that's it switch, switch back to gas real quick alrighty any questions ask